favorites, but I searched for Smith and I have this table here. Um, and what I could do is just right click launch the workshop for selection. Uh, you can see that some portion of this table is selected, but that's not the full table. So let's click select parent element again. Now it's just a row. So let's click select parent, parent element again. Now we have the whole table, but there are only two columns. So let's enable um, breaking columns. And let's just take a preview. Let's get a preview of the data. might be mostly working. It looks like um, this name column kind of got split, but otherwise that looks pretty good. Now let's try turning on dynamic tables and clicking on the next page button. Oops. Okay. So I hit the next page button. It's not actually a dynamic table. It's a classically page table. So let's try that again. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Element, break columns, page tables, next page button. Now we have 51, let's do it again. 77, let's turn on auto paging and hit the next page button. Okay, so this is just clicking the button every few seconds uh, and then aggregating the results when I'm going to cut this short, but eventually you'll be able to click these action buttons to download to CSV, download to Excel, export to Google Sheets, etc. And uh, yeah, so this looks to be working. Uh, please let me know if you have any trouble. Thanks.